Well, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Five Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is the one I want. So here we go again, this time with episode number 26. As always, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, check them out in the series playlist, link on the screen. And here we go again, episode 26 of Five Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K17. Let's kick this one off with a nice and simple one, as we have got a small animation that you might not be aware of. Now as we all know, the RBD Barricade Leg Drop OMG moment remains in the game, but what you might not know is that unlike some of the OMG moments that can't be interrupted, this one can, and actually comes complete with a pretty cool lesser known animation. So as you can see, when in a multi-man match and the move gets interrupted, you get to see this. Now obviously, nothing too major, just something I thought was kind of cool. Unlike the move itself, this animation is not new for 2K17. But still, if you're like me, this is potentially a thing that you might not have been aware of. Next up with thing number 2 today, we have got last gen versus new gen differences when it comes to the LED board being broken in tournaments. So as we know, to actually break the board itself, you need to do the super heavyweight ring breaking OMG suplex. And as you can see, despite this being old now, this visual remains pretty cool to see. However, what you might not know is that this is done in a tournament match on last gen. The remaining matches are done with the original LED board not in place. And instead you get to see a regular ring apron. Again, this is the case for the 360 and the PS3, however, it's not the case for the new gen systems, as despite the board still being breakable in a tournament, it is instead replaced and fixed for the remaining matches. Moving on to thing number 3 today, and a continuation of a thing that we covered previously, as we have got even more specific animations for entrance breakout attacks. So to add to the list today, we have got the following trio. There is this one for Summer Rae. This one for Dolph Ziggler. As well as this one for Becky Lynch. Another continuation from a past thing in the series with thing number 4 today, because along with the ability to turn Samoa Joe's rear naked choke into a pinfall attempt if you're a cruiserweight wrestler that we covered way back in the series, there is also other submission moves that do a similar thing. So other submissions that can also be turned into a pinfall attempt if you're a cruiserweight include the bank statement, which seems to happen every time. in addition to the walls of Jericho that only happens on certain occasions. Last up today and our final thing on today's episode, we have got something pretty epic which is finishers out of nowhere. Now like the super moves that we covered a bunch previously, these ones work in a similar way, but in a more regular standing position. So one that is pretty known is of course the RKO off the curb stomp. Again, pretty known at this point, but still a pretty cool visual. We've also got the tombstone into a tombstone. There is this one that takes place as a counter for the jumping tombstone. as well as this one for the regular version. This is in addition to the choke slam into a choke slam that takes place for the likes of the Undertaker and Kane. There is the rock bottom that takes place following the reversal of the STO neckbreaker. as well as the power slam into a power slam 
which looks pretty damn epic for the likes of Braun Strowman. Again, all these ones are technically reversal animations, but still, as visuals go, these work really well as finishes out of nowhere, which is hopefully something we can see even more of with 2K18 later in the year. And with that one, another episode done and dusted, taking the series total to 130 things. So let me know in the comments if any of today's feature flow things were new for you. Plus, if you've enjoyed today's episode, which hopefully you have, then a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned for another new episode in the series coming very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.